headliners for the majority of the season. So if you've been wanting to know how the streamliners have been performing so well, there you go. But Queen Grimmett's a little bit down, so a little tense, probably nervous facing her old team. We'll have to see how that goes into it. Average is looking good. Our guys are pumped. I am somewhat worried about J2 pitching. I could technically put three dog in there, but he's wore out. Oh, you can see how wore out they are. So he wouldn't be full, so we'll let J2 go. So here we go. Our lineup is pumped and ready to go. Let's see if J2 has recovered. You know what would be awful is like the first pitch of the game, he gets smashed right in the head again. <laughs> I think I would just cry. Oh, it's a night game. Larry Baller, Streamliners. Are we out there doing some exercises? Oh yeah, I'm out there doing my patented jumping Joes. We won't call them Jacks because they're not all the way up. The Streamliners take the field. They're probably the best team over in the American League. I don't know if I could contain myself, Seven, if it happened again. Now batting number 47, the right. Why so slow leading us off? Here's Nickerson, his first pitch of the night. That's low and it's a ball. That's ground ball. Hit. Queen Grimmeth on the grab. Throw the first. First out. Now batting number 15. Here's Captain Pete. I ball one. Ooh, two and zero oh to Captain Pete. Big swing and a miss there. Strike one. Three and one to Pete. And that is ball four, and Pete will be allocated first base for that performance there. Now batting number twenty-two, the second base. SKS stepping up. Captain Pete on first. That's ground ball straight to the shortstop over to Grimmeth. Grimmeth the first. That is a double play and it ends and retires the side. Excuse me. So the Streamliners do up Mugabe Cola, Jonathan Scottish, and Scott McLay. Uh, I'm sure somebody will link it for you, Zenas. Here's Cola. He's batting 209 on the season. A J2. Uh oh, that's a hit. Lethal up for it. Throws over to. J2 somehow and that is one away here's Jonathan Scottish here big swing and a miss oh and another strike there J2 and the change up gets him that's strikeout number one for J2 had to bring up Scott McLay 261 average on the season Fouled off one and two. J2 doing well here. Ground ball, zeros. Oh, gets it on the hop throw. That's a one, two, three inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors in the first. No, oh, I dropped my coaster. I've went through like four sets of coasters and I hate them all. They all suck. Here's Lethal D feline. Pop set up, shallow foul zone. And that is retired, so Lethal will have a seat. Now batting, number 54, the short stop. Weaver steps up. Played well the last few games. Takes a low strike. Inside. One and one. That one's hit well, but not far enough. Neville Gibson makes the catch. Now batting number 
I, I need to get married so they can help me buy uh, coasters. Here's Zeros McBirthday. And that's going to be a base hit to the gap. Zero still on top of things. So a two out double. And that brings up Travis the Unknown. Batting 260. He's been on a tear lately. Quietly though, no home runs on the year. He's not about that. He's a contact hitter. Wings on that one though, no contact. There's one and one to him. And after a way high one. And that one's just a little skitter. It's not going to make it far out there. And the center fielder, Appleseed, makes the catch. Do up this inning. Queen Grimmeth, Rupert Appleseed, and Neville Gibson. The battle of all battles. Queen Grimmeth steps in. J2 staring her down. Crushed, but foul. Gonna miss. J2 trying to figure out the perfect pitch here. Bowed off. And a swing and a miss. Grimmeth goes down on strikes. J2 gives the smirk. Oh, J2 gets that one. Block in his face, and that'll be out number two. Now batting number 26. If Grimmeth in this game line drives J2, I may quit. Uh oh, that one's hit. Pete has to field it on the bounce. That is going to be a single. And Tito Odeball steps up. Runner on first, two outs. Still in progress, but popped up. Anoni goes back for it. And that will end the inning. We go to the third. A hit apiece. No runs. Anoni McLarge been playing well as of late. Trying to give Azur a rest. There's a base hit. Anoni coming on strong. A leadoff hit. And now we get to see J2 with his uh, stupid, sexy Flanderses bat. There's a bun down the third base line, and it went foul. It was almost perfect. I was, I'm so mad. That's hit down the first base line. That's probably going to be a double play, and it is. Now batting number 47, the right fielder. We went from perfect bunt to that. Here's why so slow. Takes one inside. Popped up. Grimmeth going back for it. Left fielder coming in. And that will retire the side. We go to the bottom of the third. Wayne Sportsman, Billy Nickerson, Mugabe Cola. Now batting number nine, the catcher. Bowed off to the right. Popped up, J2's underneath it, waving off everybody. One out. Billy Nickerson, 314 average on the year. He'll foul that one off. Screw ball misses the outside edge. Inside edge. J2 keeping him down on the ground today. That's two away. Here's Mugabe Cola. He's a little tense. J2 smells that. Anticipated. Down the line. Lethal plays it. And that ends the inning. So we go to the fourth. Nothing much to show. Look at the parade going on in the background. That's some amazing movement of those people. Here's Captain Pete batting 317 on a year, looking for his 20th home run. 
Nick Moat. Cola's there. One out. Now batting, number 22, the second base. Here's SKS. He's 0 for 1 today. All 1 to him. Ground ball. Second baseman McLay gets it. Tosses. Number two. Here's Lethal D Feline. She's looking for her 25th home run. And that's a bouncer over top of the pitcher. Queen Grimmith fields it. Throw the first. And it's in time. And it retires the side. A defensive struggle right here. Scottish McLay Grimmith do up this inning. Now batting, number 38, the first base. I need to try to remember to hear Grimmith's music. I forgot what I picked for. Popped up. Reaver back for it. One out. Look at these glasses on this dude. The second baseman. Got McLay. Anticipated the fork ball, but he fouls it off. Oh, swung on that curveball. Fouled out of play. Oh, so close. Work ball. This guy, he's just staying alive here. Another foul. And that is a walk. I, I had to walk him. I think he's going to hit everything. Now batting number 66, the shortstop. I barely could hear it. That brings up Queen Grimmeth. One on. Strike one. Fouled off. 0 oh, and 2. Grimmeth goes down in the count. Crushed, but it goes foul. Fouled off again. And a swing and a miss, and Grimmeth's second strikeout of the evening. J2 delighted with himself. That brings up Rupert Appleseed. Two outs, runner on first. Swing and a miss there. That one's hit hard, though. That's hit high. That is out of here. A two-run shot, and the Streamliners go up in the fourth. Fireworks everywhere. Appleseed puts the Streamliners in front. That one's popped up. Travis the Unknown on the run. So we go to the fifth. Streamliners up two. Reaver zeroes Travis. Now batting number 54, the short. Foul back out of play. Round ball. Oh, Scottish with the dive. One out. Here's Zero's McBirthday. He's one for one today. We're going to miss there a little late. Hit down the line, but straight to Scottish. He's like an iron curtain. Now batting. Number three, the left fielder. Travis the unknown. He'll take ball one. Hits that one and again to Scottish, who is represented in all three outs that inning. Dreamliners lead by two. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Now batting, number 24, the left fielder. I kept seeing something behind my head. I guess that's what it was. Pop straight up. 
One out. Wayne Sportsman. That's popped up. Zeros McBirthday on the run for it. Two outs. bit to celebrate his teams going ahead bad curveball that one's rocked that's a hit the center oh Pete Pete what are you doing Pete couldn't even pick up the grounder he's all tore up here's Mugabe Cola top of the order popped up zeros on the run this is going to be a hard one to get to and he doesn't get to it Out off 0-2. Called strike three. We go to the six. It's the turn of the lineup. Now batting number 38, the catcher. Anoni gets ahead of it. Mugby Cola gets it, throws it. He's playing out of position, but somehow got that going. Here's J2. He's locked in. He's feeling well. Swing and a miss on that. Bowed off. 0 oh 2. Staying alive a little bit. <clears throat> 1 and 2 to J2. Ground ball down the third base side. Mugby Cola gets it, throws. Two outs. Here's why so slow. Two outs here, top of the sixth. Inning starting to get low. Speaking of low, there's ball one. That one's fouled off. That was in the same spot. Called strike two, way inside. Ump being liberal with his strike zone. Hit straight. McLay, the Scottish. That retires the side. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Scottish, McLay, and Grimmeth do up. Can the Streamliners end the winning record of the Ballers? Curveball fouled off. <clears throat> Got him swinging on the fork ball. Nice pitch. Now batting number five, the second baseman. Well, the winning record, meaning how many in a row? Stop ruining my my speech. Called strike there. Two strikes. J two trying to get out of a hole. Swing and a miss. That brings up Queen Grimmeth. 259, five home runs, 22 RBIs in the season. Hints right here. Bowed off. Swing and a miss. Brushed. Lethal says nope. Not today. We go to the seventh. Captain Pete, SKS. Lethal feline. Now batting number 15, the center fielder. Captain Pete squaring up. We can get a miss. Wow. One and one. Ground ball, Scottish. Oh, my Lord. Here's SKS. He's 0 for 2. He should have got off the bus at some point today. He hits that one over top, and that's going to be a base hit. And that puts one on for Lethal Feline. Lethal is also on the bus. Still parked out front. Ball one. Strike one there. Nickerson. Pitching well today. 
Three and one to lethal though. Oh, right down the pipe and he missed it. Lethal strikes out. Now battle number 54, the short stop. Reaver Axis. Bows that off. That one's hit. Probably can no, it drops. That's two out single. That brings up Zeros McBirthday with two on. Ground ball to Grimoth. Toss the second. The threat is contained. Appleseed, Gibson, Odeball. Appleseed put the first two runs on the board today. Getting ready to put a third one unless it goes foul. It's close. Is it going to hit the... Just foul. Hey, sir. We were just talking about you. Ground ball. Reaver under it. Throw to first. One out. Neville Gibson. The right fielder. pitch. You were the first Grand Slam, is there? Called strike three on the fork ball. Now batting number 24, the left fielder. Oda ball steps in. J2's wearing out. This is probably his last inning. And lethal makes the catch. Yeah, we'll sub J2 when he comes up to bat. Travis the Unknown. Anoni McLarge and a pinch hitter do up. If we can get a couple people on, that'd be nice. Oh, I was there. Two and two to Travis. Three and two to Travis. Fouled off. It may be catchable. No. Full count. I just swung at ball four. Cola gets it, throws. That puts Travis down. Here's a Noni McLarge starting for a Zer today. What am I doing? 21. That one's hit, but it looks like McLay will make the catch. Now back. Let's bring Azur in the pinch hit here. And that's how we do it. There's a base hit. Azur Alliance tears into that when he rounds first. He's heading to second. That's going to be a two out double. And if we can get a base hit here, we may be in business. But why so slow is 0 for 3 today, so. And that's going to get through. Okay, don't run home. We won't make it. Captain Pete. He's 0 for 2. He has a walk. Bows that one off. Bows that one off. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Crush! Get over the wall! Oh! The Oda ball! The streamliners contain the ballers. We'll bring Wembley in. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Bottom of the lineup do up for the streamliners.
The winning record is in danger. Wayne Sportsman comes up to bat. Cara Wembley steps in the pitch. That one's hit well. Lethal, oh, Lethal steps in the bag, one out. I thought that was gone. I, it was the shortest part of the fence. Popped up. Why so slow going over for it? Well, this is what, our sixth game away? Mugby Cola, he is rattled. That, that, one, that one's going to be in a dangerous spot. Reaver makes the catch. We go to the ninth. Last chance for the ballers. SKS, lethal DP line. Reaver Axis. Now batting, number 22, the second baseman. They're leaving Nickerson in. SKS drops that one in there. That's going to be a base hit. He turns first, he hits the second. He stopped and looked at it, so that's going to be a double. I've never seen the fielder stop and just look at the ball before. Now batting, number 86, the first baseman. Lethal D feline. O for whatever today. Mm. Crushed. Grimmeth with the third. SKS gets back, so there's two on with no outs. Reaver Axis. That's hitting the outfield. One run's going to come in. SKS pushing on it. And he's in there. It's two to one. The Larry Baller's trying to come back here. Here is Zero's McBirthday. Number 13, the third base. That one's hit high. That one's hit far. Not enough, but it should move the runner up. Lethal takes off and we'll move over to third. And it brings up Travis the Unknown. Oh, do we leave him in or do we bring somebody else in? Travis usually gets hit. I'm going to have faith in him here. Oh my god. Unknowny. Unknowny. Two to one, two outs. Anoni hits that one deep. It's going to at least land, 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 land. No! And the game is over. The Streamliners pull the ultimate upset. Ending the Larry Ballers winning streak. Two to one. They scored two runs on three hits. We scored one run on eight. Reaver's the only person to knock in a run. Those road games are wearing us down. J2 takes his third loss of the season. Seven innings, two earned runs, seven strikeouts. Not a bad effort. Nickerson, though, gets the complete game. He'll move up to six and four. Billy Nickerson's your player of the game, followed by J2 in a pitcher's duel. Rupert Appleseed takes third. The left fielder won the game for the Streamliners. Pete hit that ball perfect. And my God, that guy made that catch. Cockatoos beat the Nemesis, dropping them 10 games back in our division. The Nemesis are probably going to be disqualified. 
I don't think there's enough wins or enough yeah wins or games left in the season for them to make up that ground. They two did nothing wrong. Don't you ever hashtag that again, try hard guy. Have we even played the Moon Stars this year? Dreamliners pick up another win, move up to 37 wins on the season. Oh, I'm going to have to ban everybody watching. Whoops, take an L. Drop to 500. Oh, the Nemesis beat the Wardens. The Wardens drop four games back behind the Sirloins. And now we're going to play the Wild Pigs, who are second place in our division. They're also probably who we're going to play in the playoffs. 